What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Investing Bros. And today we are talking about Cardano. Yes, we're going to be giving a long term price prediction. We'll take a look at the short term as well, but this could be one of the most controversial price predictions I have done so far. Not that the others weren't, got a lot of people loving them, got a lot of people hating them, but when it comes to Cardano, at least the other ones I've done so far, people are extremely consistently bullish on. Cardano, there's a lot of debate in the community. Of course, you guys know that we have a strong a fan base of Cardano who are going to love and support and might think that my price prediction is a little too low for them. Of course, then there's also the people that are the naysayers who say that Cardano is not a functioning project. It's not going to do anything. Its greatest days are behind it. And they're going to think my price prediction is too high. But you've got to wait all the way until the end to judge for yourself. And I do want to get your feedback. So make sure throughout the video, you are commenting down below. What do you think about what we're talking about for Cardano? Let me know if you are a fan or if you are a hater. We welcome all, but this is my opinion about what Cardano could do. But before we jump into the price prediction for 2025, let's talk about this explosive rally we had last night. Now, I was in a trade, did very good in my trade, but I put my take profit at 46 cents. So uh, that got triggered. And of course, there's always that what if. What if I just let it ride? Well, more often not, when you do the statement, let's just let it ride, you end up losing. Last night would have worked out very well. Cardano exploded all the way early this morning here just a little bit ago, we touched 53 cents for Cardano. Now, that's not too much of a surprise. I told you guys what I'm looking for is a move up here in the short term closer to 60 cents. I understand why we rejected right here. We did have some resistance from back in September of 2022. So a little over a year ago, we did reject on the way down right here at about 52.4. So we wicked a little above that, but as a whole, there was a little bit, a little level of rejection right there. What I'm looking at is the high we had in August around this 0.382 level. Of course, that's not it though. You could see a move closer to 70 cents to the highs we had back in May. And then you start to take a look at, well, can Cardano continue this explosive rally all the way up to 80 cents here at the 0.5? Who knows? We get back above a dollar, back to the golden pocket. I'm gonna let you know what I think. But as a whole, I, I told you guys, Cardano's a sleeping giant. You got to sit here and be patient for it. This is why you still have a HODL portfolio, even if you are got out of your trade, just like I did. My HODL portfolio for Cardano is looking good this morning. Uh, but how much further could we go to the upside? All I'm going to do to look at this right here, guys. We're just going to look at fixed range volume profile mixed with our Fibonacci levels. So, of course, again, we have the Fibonacci level here at about 60 cents. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about a 60 cent Cardano. The question, though, is can we make it higher? There is going to be a gap right here at about 70 71 cents for cardano if we can continue to explode to the upside you guys know we've talked about this a lot these gaps seem to be like little uh joints that we, they're just attract they're like magnets to price action on every single coin so watch out for 70 cents i've seen people talking about 75 cents I don't know why 75 cents. I guess the best case is going to be that's a former support level right in here. Uh, but as a whole, if we make it up above 70 cents and keep pushing, what I'm looking for is that move up to the 0.5 closer to 80 cents to me. And I'm not saying this is impossible that to me, I think right now getting up above a dollar moving towards golden pocket, a little unrealistic for now, the bull market, we will see things go above. And that's what the rest of this video is all about. How high will Cardano go throughout the rest of the bull market? But for now, I'm liking my 60 cents. 70 cents is looking attractive, but to me, 81 cents in the pre-having run that we're in seems like it makes the most sense. Now, before we move on, if you guys love Cardano or if you hate Cardano, Go ahead and leave a comment down below about what you think of my short-term price prediction, but also go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe if you are ready to dive into what Cardano could look like in the year 2025. Let's go ahead and go over, you guys, if you have seen my other price prediction videos, you know how we do this. Let's go ahead and jump over to CoinMarketCap. Let's scroll right here to Cardano. Now, let me move this over here just a little bit so you guys can see everything. And we'll zoom in here just a little bit. Got it. Oop, just a little too far. There we go. All right. So what we're looking at here with Cardano, we got to look right here at our current market cap. That market cap is going to be very, very important. And we're looking here at our current supply of Cardano. Uh, look at that 108% up in how long? Like that's, I guess, last week or so. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, or the last uh, 90 days, I think. 
anyway, what we're looking at here is what will these look like in the year 2025, closer towards the end? Current price, 51 cents. This is easy math, guys. If you just look here, current supply, 35.3 billion. Divide that by 18 billion, 18.1 billion, which is the current market cap. That's what's gonna give you your answer of 51 cents. So for us to get our answer for what it will be in 2025, we need to know what these numbers will look like in the year 2025. Well. The way Cardano is inflating right now, it's got an inflation rate somewhere around 3.6%. Every single two years, we're seeming to get about another two and some change a billion tokens added. So that means that this number right here, when we get to the top of the bull market, fall of 2025, should be looking somewhere around 37 and a half billion tokens in circulation. All right, so that is really important right there. Now to get the answer right here, where will our market cap be sitting at? Well, for this one, we're gonna have to go over back to the charts and we're gonna have to take a look at Cardano uh, Dominant. So ADA.D. If we look back here, let's go to the weekly chart. Let's kind of scroll out here. You're gonna see, even though we've only had two bull markets here for Cardano, of course, they kind of launched briefly right before the 2017 bull market. And then of course they had the 2021 bull market. You can see both times we shot up here above 4%, pushing close to that four and a half percent dominance. When you look at the fact, now this isn't perfect, this could change, but look at how far we pulled back and the fact that we spent the fall slash uh, early couple winter months in 2019, 2020, super low, all the way down here below 1%, hovering around 0.5%. Um, the fact that we're seeing a similar thing happen a lot higher leads me to think that there's an outside chance that Cardano's dominance could make a bigger run and push closer towards six to seven percent. But for the sake of this video, guys, I'm going to say that in my best case scenario, I'm going to give you a range in my best case scenario. I think that Cardano once again gets back up here to about four and a half percent dominance somewhere in that range. Worst case scenario for this video, I think we stay above two, get somewhere around 2.7%. So the question is, if we get into this range, let's go ahead and just draw this little box right here. I'll go 2.7 up here to about four and a half percent. If we can get up into this box with the dominance of the total crypto market cap, the question is, what is the crypto market cap? Well, for all of our videos, we have been talking about this. For, for you to get a good price prediction, you have to understand, you need to know where the total crypto market cap is going to end up at. And we've been operating with the thought that $11 trillion is a pretty good zone to think that when you combine all of cryptocurrency, we could see a total market cap of $11 trillion. All right, there's actually things that could lead to that number being higher, there's obviously scenarios where that number is lower. But in the world of institutional adoption, we're gonna see trillions, trillions, trillions trickle in. My guess is somewhere around that $11 trillion. Now, what does that mean? If we have an $11 trillion market cap for crypto, and if we see a 4.5% dominance on Cardano, that would be a $500 billion market cap. If we only get to this 2.7, and I'm gonna explain why I'm giving this lower range, even though we've consistently got it up higher, I'm giving a caveat for a little bit lower at 2.7 because there, and this is where a lot of the haters will ring in, Tim, it's an institutional market, it's gonna be an institutional bull run, Cardano's not necessarily an institutional friendly coin. It's so decentralized, it does not attract the institutions. So for that reason, even though I still think we can get to the 4.5% simply based off of uh, retail investors, I'm gonna go ahead and give a caveat and say, hey, if we only make it to 2.7, we only make it to 2.7. That would still be a $300 billion market cap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go ahead and take a look at what that would mean. Did not mean to have that tool on. Let me get rid of those lines. It's time to take a look at what that would mean for our uh, our precious Cardano price. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a couple things here. Let's get rid of, of our uh, that, let's see, let's get rid of fixed range volume profile. Let's get rid of Fibonacci. We can always redraw those, come back to them later. If we were to see a $300 billion market cap, if this is the institutional uh, bull run and Cardano is left out, we would still see a price action for Cardano all the way up here at $8. That means 37.5 billion tokens divided by, sorry, trillion, to uh, let's see, that's, that's billion, yeah. 
uh, sorry, 300 billion, excuse me, 300 billion uh, dollars of market cap divided by 37 and a half billion tokens would give us a price of $8. So from where we currently are, if you were to buy this morning, that would still be a nice little chunk of change of about a 14 X, a 14. Let's see. It's actually, it would be like a 15 and a half X. I always forget. You have to add one number to the hundredth number right there. Um, but uh, yeah, so a 15 X looking nice, even from the bottom. If you were one of those crazy people who bought all the way down here at what is the bear market bottom at 21 cents, that is a 36 X for your holdings. Now that's a very, very beautiful thing, but that is the low end. What would it mean if we had a $500 billion market cap? Well, that would give us a price a little bit higher. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot bit that would take the price all the way up to about $13 and 33 cents. Let's kind of come in this range right there. Boom. If you were to buy right now, that would give you a 25 X 25 X from right now. Of course, the crazy people who bought at 21, they would get a 60, almost 61 X on their returns. That is pretty, pretty spicy. That could be amazing. Here's the thing, guys. Like I said before, when we were looking at 88 uh, dominance, there's a chance we could go even higher. When you go back to 88, uh, let's see point D remember when we were looking at this, we're, our floor got higher here. There is a chance the ceiling gets higher as well. There's also a chance that all the naysayers who are saying, well, this is the institutional bull run and I'm one of those people, Cardano's gonna be left out. My thought is Cardano's gonna trickle behind. Watch all the coins that the institutions love, watch people take profits and flow them into Cardano. Also, wait for the millions of people who will get into crypto and will realize, man, I made some money on these coins, but this decentralization thing that everyone keeps talking about, it's pretty cool. And Cardano, of all the altcoins out there, more than likely is number one in that category. I'm still expecting a massive inflow of money to come into Cardano, even if it's not all from institutions. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Ultimately, I'm gonna go ahead and put my price prediction. I'm gonna go kind of middle here. The low end, $8, high end, $13. I'm going to go somewhere right around that $10 mark. It would still be a beautiful bull run. I'll make a lot of money. If you're holding Cardano, you'll make a lot of money. What do you guys think? Leave your price prediction down below and tell me why it's different than mine. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.